Okay, welcome back to another video tour for City of Heroes. This time we're going to go to what is now referred to as Echo Dark Astoria. It's the original version of Dark Astoria before it was replaced by the incarnate level version of Art Dark Astoria that we saw on another video. The only way to get to the Echo Dark Astoria is if you already had a teleport beacon for the original zone in your base. Otherwise, you have to go through a special portal set up in the back of the Ouroboros time zone. So here we go, warping from base, our lovely cut screens. It's another hazard zone, of course. This used to be connected to Talos Island, but as it has now been reduced to that of an echo, the door to Talos is closed. So this zone no longer connects to anything. That door has been sealed off. We have the usual eight map badges, four plaques, and this is also home to a, a couple day jobs that you could work for. Caregiver for sitting in a hospital, or basically log out anywhere, preferably in the cemetery graveyard area of the zone, and you can pick up a day job. The zone pretty much is level 21 to 29. You got Banished Pantheon, Circle of Thorns in it. It was a nice zone, but the new Dark Astoria is much better. This zone also used to be home to the giant monster Atomastor. He used to randomly spawn here at pre-given times, but that no longor happens. To get Atomastor out, they establish a spot in Talos where if you have a summoning scroll, you can summon him and beat him. And yes, this zone is also in a perpetual fog. The new Dark Astoria is in a perpetual night, but no fog. And here we go, we're going to locate our first plaque. They left the zone up as an echo because, unfortunately, some of the plaques in here are pretty quintessential to the history badges, and they want to give people a chance to see what the old zone was like. Okay, and it looks like we have completed another badge. Historian. This zone is good for hunting the spirit masks if you're looking to get the defeat badge for them. In fact, speaking of a spirit mask, there's one now. They're part of the Banish Pantheon. They're boss ranked. 200 of them. And you get a shiny badge. So we're going to head to this corner. Get everything done. Let's see here. We'll start here. Should be right about here. Yep. There it is. It's just surrounded by this group of monsters from the Pantheon. Cairn Warder. Okay, so let's head on for our next badge. Yes, they were just attacking me, but they are no threat to me. So, let's head on around. Not up here. Let's take it down a little bit and see where we're at. Nope. 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 Nothing here. circle. Okay, let's head back up. I know it's a badge I don't have on this alt, because this alt's never been in here yet. This one's going to be a little stubborn to find. It would be nice if we didn't have to... Ha ah, here's the path I was looking for. There we go. Found it. There it is, right down there. Sleeper below. Yeah. The god Mott is what you will f end up facing in some of the missions and trials in the new Dark Astoria. Mott has awakened. Hmm. 
Definitely not a zone I would recommend super speed as a travel power, since you never know what you're going to bump into in the fog. This is yet another good example of why I prefer flight. But that's just preference. Travel as you would. Let's head down some more. Aha! Yes, it's down here. There it is. Seeker of the Unknown. That's perfect. Let's head back up. Swing around this way. We'll pick up our next badge. A very gloomy zone. Let's see here. Oop. Here we are. Whisper on Witchburn Hill. Head this way, pick up the next one. There we are. Dark Mystic. Okay, we'll head to this corner here. Now we're heading into the more streets and civilized areas of the zone. Still plenty of monsters, and as always, the zone is in its perpetual state of fog. Let's see, it should be around here. Yep, it is. There it is. Too Dark Park. Okay, we'll head in this direction now. We have two badges and three plaques left to locate. It's going to be up here around here. Yep. Got some Circle of Thorns doing their usual thing. Phantom Radio. Yep. So we have our next plaque in this general vicinity. And another badge finishes. Hmm, two badges. Ah. Looks like I just completed an accolade by getting that badge. The badge was authority, and it completed an accolade that augments my health by 10%. Okay. Not bad. Can always use that. That accolade is immediately in effect, and it never shuts off unless I activate a a power that shuts down everything, but that doesn't happen too often that I would use such a thing. And we have a wall plaque coming up here. <laughs> See again how that building just appeared out of the fog? That's again why I don't recommend super speed for this zone for traveling. Not that you care to it be heard if it pancaked into the building, but it's just the idea. You'll be bouncing off buildings and walls left and right. And we have another one. Okay. Final map badge for the zone. 
Astoria's Last Stand. And the badge for getting them all. And our usual customary five reward merits. And we have one more wall plaque to find, and then we'll be done with this rather gloomy zone. Here we are. It's right here. Oh, just picked up another one. Researcher. Okay, and there you have it. Well, this wraps up the tour of the Echo of Dark Astoria. It's a nice place to visit. No more missions to be had in here, though. Any missions that were connected to the zone have since been edited. But it's still good to visit to get the maps, the plaques, and maybe work on a couple monster defeat badges. Beyond that... Okay then. Well, hope you enjoy the tour and we will see you in our next zone.